Craig here and in today's video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can move your WordPress website from wealthy affiliate hosting to another hosting company. Now why would you want to do this? Well perhaps you can't afford to pay your monthly membership fee or perhaps you you don't want to be part of wealthy affiliate anymore. Now I'm going to show you how you can do this and transfer it over to a HostGator hosting account. Now you can use the same technique to transfer it to any host as long as you can install WordPress. Now, if you're not comfortable doing this, there is a chance that I can do it for you for free. That is if you're going to go with HostGator and you haven't joined yet. Now, if you use my affiliate coupons, I will get a commission. Now, in return for me getting a commission, I will gladly come and transfer your website for you for free. I'm gonna quickly show you how to uh, use my coupon codes. So. Over at HostGator, they have a whole bunch of dirt cheap hosting packages. And I'm on the checkout order place. I've selected the baby account. This one allows you to host uh, unlimited domains. It's not unlimited, but you can host a buttload of domains. And we're gonna be paying monthly. And if we scroll down, I would recommend you uncheck both of these options. Otherwise, it's gonna add about $40 to your checkout bill. And this is the default coupon code. Now, my coupon code is how to video, and if we press validate, you'll see that you will get your first month hosting for one cent. Then after that, you will be paying uh, $9.95 per month. Now, if you want to pay for like, you know, a year's worth of hosting, I would recommend that you use my other coupon code, which is how to video 25 and press validate and you'll see that you're going to save uh, 25%. So a full year's worth of hosting is gonna cost you 90 bucks. So anyway, those are my coupon codes. If you wanna use them, that will pretty much allow you to ask me to come and move your websites over to HostGator for you for free. But you can definitely follow along to this video tutorial and you know easily move your website yourself. Okay, so the website I'm going to be moving is smartphonecameralenses.com. And if we go and take a look at this uh, website right now, it's, I've just loaded up some demo content. And it's this, uh, it's just got some, a demo local painting business company. So I want to move this over to HostGator. And the first thing we need to do is log into our admin area. And we're going to install a new plugin, entering WP Clone. And this is the plugin we want to install and activate. Now I've already installed it and activated it. So I'm going to scroll down and down here we have WP clone. I'm going to click on it and make sure create backup is checked. And then we are going to click on create backup and press OK. If you have, you know, a normal kind of size site, uh, everything should work fine. If you have a huge site with, you know, that's going to, be a huge backup file, you may get an error message. Now you may have to contact me and I will explain how to fix this. Basically what you have to do is exclude some of the folders that you don't really need. So the website has been cloned and backed up. Uh, the backup file is around 18 megabytes. I'm, I'm gonna click on here and download this to my computer. You are going to need to do that too. So it's downloading. Now. Basically, I'm going to connect my FTP to show you basically what has just been backed up. So this is, uh, I've connected via FTP, and inside here is all of the WordPress website files. Now, the backup clone only backs up this folder right here, WP content, because generally you don't need any of the additional folders or files. So it backs up the uploads, the themes, the plugins, and it also takes your WordPress database and puts that in there too. But just keep in mind, if you upload anything to the root directory of your domain, uh, it's not going to be backed up. Now you can see here we have the sitemap XML. Don't worry about that because the next time you create a post or a page, the sitemap will be recreated. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is I need to change the name server or the DNS for this domain name to point to my new hosting company. So this domain is registered with GoDaddy. So I've logged in and I'm gonna scroll down to name servers and click on manage. Now, if you've just signed up for HostGator or your hosting company, they should have um, you know, emailed you the name server details 
or if you're inside of your um, cPanel, generally on a shared hosting company, they will list these details on the side of your cPanel. So I'm going to enter in uh, mine here. Mine a little custom because I'm going to be adding this to my VPS hosting. So make sure you don't have any typos and press OK. Now, as you should be aware, you know, it can take several hours for the name server to change. So I'm going to press save and that's all finished. Now, a website that I like to use to check, you know, if the name server has changed or not is whatsmydns.net. So I've entered in my domain name and here we have a drop down menu. Now change this to NS and it will show you the name server. So I've only seconds ago changed it. So it should still be pointing to wealthy affiliate so there. Now you can see the way this works. It will show you you know, it'll show you uh, different places across the globe uh, if the DNS has changed there or not, because it doesn't instantly change everywhere at the same time. So the next step is we need to log into the control panel of our hosting and add the domain name to our account. Now, this is one of the C panels for my VPS hosting. So I'm going to scroll down and, you know, you may find these icons in different locations. I'm going to click on add on domain. And I'm going to paste in the domain name, make sure you don't have any of that HTTP, etc. We'll click down here and we're going to click on add domain. And this is telling me that the domain has been added successfully. So we are going to click back here to go to the home page of the control panel. Uh, let's go and just take a quick peek at this. We'll hit search again. It's not changed anywhere but it has only been a minute or so. I should point out that like, if you're with Bluehost or something, you're not going to be able to add the domain to your account until the domain name server has changed. But with HostGator, it allows you to complete this step without verifying if the domain is pointing to your hosting. So with HostGator, we can move on to the next step, which would be to install WordPress on the domain name. So I'm going to use Quick Install we're going to click on WordPress and continue. And we're going to select the domain name from the drop down menu. So I've entered in some of my details. Whatever I enter here isn't such a big deal because when we install the backup, the original login details, etc., are going to go into effect. So I'm going to click on install now. Let's close that downward. And there we go, WordPress has been installed and we can't go and log in just yet because the domain is still pointing to wealthy affiliate hosting. So while we wait for the name server to change, I do want to mention something else. So I'm going to pull up the download folder and this is the, fi the clone file that we downloaded. Now I recommend that we right click and we rename this zip file and just name it to something like uh, sitebackup.zip because once the name server has changed we will be uploading this file to our hosting and we will have to type out the file name so instead of having that extra long file name it's now easy for us to type out so I'm going to press pause and we'll be back once the name server has changed and you know <laughs> it's already done so you know Although, keep in mind, sometimes it, it can take hours, but this has taken about four or five minutes. So we will go and see if we can log in. Now, sometimes you have to go and clear your browser cache, flush your local DNS, etc. Okay, so for us to continue, you may need to go and delete all your browser cache and your temp files, and also flush your computer DNS. Now, if you're not sure what that is, just head over to Google and type in flush DNS. And Google is going to tell you how you can do this. Basically, you need to go to run and type in this IP config slash flush DNS. So I already have my run thing open. You can access this via right clicking on your star type Windows icon and it will come up. You'll have run there. Alternatively, you can just click on it and start to type in run and it will come up over here. 
Okay, so I'm going to type in ipconfig slash flush DNS and press OK. So that's been done. And if you flush your DNS cache, you should notice that, you know, you've been logged out because it's realized that, that you're not on the right page anymore. So now when I go to my website, we have the default WordPress installation. If for some reason you still see the website pointing to the Wealthy Affiliate hosting, uh, you may need to delete your temp cache. I use a program called CC Cleaner. You can run that. Let's go log into the new blog. I'm going to copy my login details. We'll click on the login button again. And enter my username and password. And we're going to press login. Uh, we need to go to plugins and add new. We're going to search and reinstall a WP clone. We're going to activate the plugin. And we are going to scroll down to WP clone. And what we need to do is restore from URL. However, the backup file is, you know, we downloaded it to our computer. So now what we need to do is either via FTP or via the control panel is we need to upload the backup file. So I'm going to jump back over to my control panel. Uh, this is we're back on quick install. I'm going to go back to cPanel. And we are going to scroll down until we can locate file manager. And I'm going to use a drop down to select the domain name. And I'm going to press go. And we are going to, this is where we need to be. So I'm going to press upload and browse. And this is the backup file I need to upload. I'm going to press open and it will start to upload. So the file name is called sitebackup.zip. So it's uploaded successfully. So now we can come over here. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this. And then we're going to enter in sitebackup.zip. Sitebackup.zip, that's correct. We are going to press agree. And we're going to click restore from URL and press OK. And you'll see it tells us we may need to resave our permalink structure. So let's go visit the site and see if it's working. There we go. So we've now successfully transferred our website over to, oops, over to HostGator. So I'm going to log in. Now you'll see I entered in WP with no dash login. That's because I have a security plugin in place to, uh, to make my WordPress site a little secure. I'm going to log in and I will tell you exactly what that plugin is called. So it's actually, let me go to plugins and show it you. The plugin is called iTheme Security. Uh, I would highly recommend you install this if you're going to go on HostGator and set up some of the, you know, the basic security features that come with this plugin or contact me and I will gladly help you out. So again, that is basically how you can transfer your WordPress website from Wealthy Affiliate to HostGator. Keep in mind, if you had email addresses set up inside Wealthy Affiliate, you will need to come back to your control panel and create yourself some email accounts. Uh, questions, comments, feel free to uh, post them below and let me know if you need any help.